Hey everybody, it's William Green. These are my green pets, and they're living here at Fantasy Orchids in Louisville, Colorado. And today it's a very cloudy, gray day. So instead of sunlight, the plants are receiving LED light in the blue and red spectrum. And uh, these just uh, help to supplement the light that the plants in the greenhouse are getting. It also just kind of makes the greenhouse look cool. Let's start off today looking at some of the plants that are just about to bloom. This is the Angraecum Memoria Mark Aldridge, and this belongs to a private owner in the greenhouse. It's uh, living here and it's doing quite well. And I've been watching this for about two months, actually. The spikes have taken a while to push out. Really excited to see those bloom. Across the greenhouse from the Angraecum is a fantastic specimen of Zygopetalum macaei. And this is a species from Brazil, it grows in the highlands. It's a cool growing species. And as you can see, it, see it's doing very well, it's growing like a weed. It's got several spikes, more than 30 flowers on it. And the smell is just breathtaking. It's like a sweet rose smell, but it has that strength, that pungency of hyacinth that's really, really nice. And the color combination is fantastic too. I mean, the reddish brown, plus green and then the white and purple striped lip. Really impressive. I tried growing a zygopetalum in Kentucky when I lived there. It was just too hot. But here in Colorado, the nights are very cool and these plants do quite well, as you can see. Now moving over to my collection, my green pets. The big event that's happening right now is the blooming of Paphiopedilum Michael Kopovitz. And uh, Michael has been out of bloom for three years. Last time he bloomed was 2015. And here we are, the first flower has popped open. The, uh, the petals are lengthening uh, day by day. And there are three more flowers that are going to be, going to be pushing forward and, and opening up soon. So the, my fingers are crossed that they will unfurl in a pleasing manner, that they will have a nice stance because AOS judging is next Saturday. And I would love to take this plant in, even if it doesn't win an award, I would love to hear what the judges say about it, if it has potential for potentially uh, winning an award in the future. Because the color is, is quite quite pale for a Michael Kopowitz. Usually they're darker. Um, so I thought maybe, I don't know, we'll see what the judges think. Right in front of my blooming path is this Falchilleriana. It's got a spike pushing up. It started out pretty early this year, actually, but um, I have staked the spike to kind of protect it from getting knocked over. And next to it is Hal, the Bulbophyllum echinolabium, and Hal has had his spike staked as well. I kind of just wanted to control the flower spikes from flopping over all over the other plants. So Hal will be blooming again in about a week or so. And this is Path Prime Child right next to the Michael Kopovitz. It last bloomed two years ago and won an AOS award for its flower. Uh, so fingers crossed this is gonna push out and look nice. But uh, it's, taken, it's taken its time, so I'm not sure if there's something wrong, we'll see. Then we have uh, Bulbophyllum Lovely Elizabeth. And uh, normally this plant would be pushing out spikes this time of year, but instead it's pushing out three new growths. So I'm thinking the growths that came out earlier this year were very small and I'm thinking that maybe it's putting out new growths instead of trying to bloom possibly because it just did not have the energy to bloom. The flowers on this plant are very complex so I can imagine it does take a lot of energy for the plant to bloom. Another Bulbophyllum that is seemingly having no problem pushing out spikes is this Bulbophyllum medusae and you guys have seen this plant several times in my collection. Uh, it blooms in late November, early December. It looks like it's going to be a December bloom for this guy. These spikes aren't, aren't quite near where they need to be. Let's take a close look at the Catlia Rex seedlings. I've had these guys since March of 2014, and they're in various stages of growth. Some of them are, have gotten quite large. Others are still quite small, but they're all putting out lots of beautiful roots. And... Um, they, yeah, they're growing very well here at Fantasy Orchids. The greenhouse environment is just really great for Catlias. And um, in the past, I usually have rot issues about this time of year. I've got, you know, big black splotches on the leaves. Um, but 
I'm having the opposite. I'm actually showing new growth, signs of new growth on a lot of the plants. Lots of root growth as well. So I really couldn't be happier. This is a very good place for my little Cattleya rexus to grow up. Well guys, I really appreciate you tuning in and checking out My Green Pets. Uh, thanks again to those of you who tuned in to the Cattleya talk last week with AOS Judge Stephen Van Camp and Lewis. A lot of people enjoy that and I think we're definitely going to be doing that again in the near future, so stay tuned. So enjoy your rest of your weekend and I hope to see you back right here on My Green Pets. I'm William Green. Bye! <laughs>